So you're coming back for the third wave. I guess what's next business wise for the personal brand? Are you looking to start companies off fit? Because you seem like somebody who's just going to grow their influence inevitably because you're very good at speaking, you're engaging, like more people are going to put eyeballs back on you pretty much immediately. But is there anything like a software or a coaching program? Are you looking to launch off of that? Yeah, I've got this formula that I've kind of honed down, which any of you, I'll give it to you for free. It's called the trade formula. And I think it's the best business model for third wave. You all can do it. I'm doing it for myself. Um, So the T stands for tribes. So you need to build tribal type businesses where people actually, a classic example of this is veganism or CrossFit. People call themselves CrossFitters. Mm -hmm. Like I, when their identity is a thing, that's a tribe. What do you think? Vegan, you know? So then the R, and this is something I, w- I would encourage you all to do, is the R is for recurring revenue. Great businesses. Jeff Bezos has 200 million people on Amazon Prime Auto Rebuild. And what is it now, 100 bucks a month? So there's, there's something you have a decay function mathematically in recurring billings. So based on your price point, you can predict. So let's say a decay function is like, you know, one divided by 12 or one divided by 10. You, you figure out, some people call this a churn rate, okay? So you have a decay, but it's predictable. If you don't spend any money, like I built a company, uh, me and my, we co, I was a co-founder of MentorBox. We build out things like 70,000 people paying you between 10 and 40 bucks a month. It's very predictable, the decay function, you know how much money you're gonna make next month. Whereas if you're doing all what, the classic word is straight sale, when you're all straight sale business, which is getting money per transaction, um, you get hurt, you take a break, you get burnout, your income, it's like proportion, logarithmic drop. So T, trade, tribal, recurring, Apple, by the way, became the first trillion dollar company in great part because of the app store where they take 30%. It's the greatest money. People like J.D. Rockefeller, you know, the Rockefeller, he's the guy who invented the monopoly in the United States. He was worth $600 billion, but not worth a trillion because he couldn't take 30%. Apple takes 30%. But it's going to go to the Supreme Court as like basically collusion, you know, anti-trade fraud. Anyway. So R is recurring. Uh, then t- the uh, trade formula. So the let me skip around because I kind of like to do these in different order. Um, the D stands for debatable businesses, controversial. So vegan is a classic example of, or, or you remember like the Atkins diet or the secret. I don't know if you remember that self-help movement, or you were talking about Andrew Tate, top G. This is a, he, he has a, a business model and structure that people debate. Now, yeah, he's calling everything the matrix. Yeah, but I mean, it's a debate. There's people who love and would die for him. That's a tribe. He's made himself a tribal leader. Donald Trump has made himself a tribal leader. He says things that are debatable, controversial, like, you know, Mexicans shouldn't come in or something like that. Or whatever he said. Remember that first thing he said about Mexicans? He said about, I forget what he said, but it was super controversial. Con- Kardashians, very debatable slash controversial. Did they really make their money? Are there people are arguing, but they're spreading their word. They're spreading their business verbally. And that's why the, the wealthiest self-made billionaire was Kylie Jenner, the youngest. She was whatever, 19 or 20. I once in Norway, I went on a Tinder date. I'm all sitting there and a girl looking across from me goes, Second question she asked me, never happened in my life. And usually Norwegians don't talk about money. She goes, what's your net worth? <laughs> I remember thinking, wow, I didn't think, expect that from a Norwegian. And I was like, that's it. Why would you ask that? And she's like, because I'm the richest 21-year-old or 22-year-old in the world. My dad is a billionaire. And if you look me up on the Forbes list, I'm the richest. Yeah. So she's like, the only reason I'm asking is like, guys get super weird. And I was like, the good news about me I do not get intimidated by money at all. So, yeah, she's a she's a cool woman. But um, she got displaced by Kylie Jenner as the richest, well, richest. It's good. I heard she came. She would come to L.A. She's cool. Um, and she was honest about it. She's like, I didn't earn it. She's like, my great grandfather did actually. Grandfather did. I think in the 1800s. She's multi generational. Um, so the so the D, 
debatable businesses. That's super important. Um, the E, okay, is you want to build ecosystems. So a great example of this, that we have an ecosystem would be Apple would be one, but I'm launching this 150 body program, which is, I'm not a pro athlete, but I'm a super busy entrepreneur and I had to figure out an actual protocol that works and keeps you in decent shape. I'm not a 10 out of 10 body wise, but you know, you want to be like an eight out of 10 as a dude. That's good. After that, you get diminishing returns in your money. So I'm like, how can you maintain anti-aging, you know, for your age? Like I'm from my age, I'm, I can outcompete most dudes physically, you know, energy, but it's not, be, it's because I wasn't always like that. I figured out this protocol. I spent millions of dollars. There's that guy going viral for spending millions of dollars on anti-aging shit. I'm like, ah, I did that shit too. I hired everybody, dude. I've worked out bodybuilding with Dorian Yates. Five, I know Arnold Schwarzenegger. I've hired all the biohackers. I've done, I've taken so much blood out of my arm. When I moved to Puerto Rico, I had to get a new nurse from LA. She's like, I'm not ethically allowed to take this much blood out of you. I'm like, I've been doing this for five years to track myself. I had to sign a waiver. She's like, I have to come back in two days. She's like, you will faint if you do that much blood. So I pulled the blood. I got the sign. So I built this 150 body, but it's an ecosystem. So there's an educational product. Okay. There is a supplement line that comes out. There's gear, and I'll probably open a chain of gyms either virtual. So that's an ecosystem of cross selling where you're going to go wrong is just you like launch, you know, one core product and you become very core product based. You need to think ecosystem because now your LTV has to be higher enough on a funnel or you you'll get beaten by somebody with an ecosystem. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this short clip, check out the full interview here. And if you want to see more clips from this episode, check it out right here.